why wake up at a reasonable time if you have no reason to wake up at all? do school from home, you start to form a disconnect with the real world. There's no real structure to your day. No specific time the classes have to be at. Nothing you have to remember to go to. All there is is a bunch of words on the screen. You wake up, then you do school. Maybe you'll take a break from the monotony eat lunch at an unreasonable hour. A lunch which consists of a master's slop. You could make something more elaborate, more nice, pleasant, palatable even, but you really could care less about what you're shoving in your stomach at this very moment. You don't really care about anything at all anymore. Now that you have anything to care about. You watch YouTube videos for hours on end in your bed after you finish your work. It's not like you have anything else to do. I mean, you try to make plans. You think about things that you want to do, but you never follow through with anything at all. Why would you? What's the point when you can do this all day? This is easy. It might be boring, but it's easy work. Darwin was way more into worms than finches. You do have hobbies you like doing, as everyone does. One of your favorites is to edit videos on your laptop and post them to the internet. You're proud of the work you make, and you like doing it. But deep down, you know there's no point. You know you're just doing it to fill a void in your life, right? You know that, right? Don't you? This would be the last one. Names. You do have a few friends to hang out with, so you know maybe your social life's not that bad after all. <laughs> maybe you're okay. No, you know you're not okay. You know there's something seriously wrong with you. You try to get rid of it, you try to fix it, but you can't. Whenever you do go with these friends, you know I'm just waiting for the hours to pass. So you can go back home and look at more pictures and words on screens. You could easily reach out to the friends you have, the few friends you have. I'm sure they would be more than happy to hang out with you. But you don't want to. Because this is what you like doing. So don't for a second think that you don't have any friends. Don't say that to yourself or anyone else ever again. You have plenty of friends. You don't deserve pity points. You don't deserve anything. You deserve to be seen as the sad sack, the sad husk of the person that you are. You are nothing, you ungrateful bastard. You know that you're lucky. You're grateful for what you have. And you wouldn't change it for the world. You don't have to worry about anything, really. And you have parents that love and care for you and at least try to understand you. You have a life much easier than most people your age. But yet, you're still unsatisfied? You're still ungrateful? What more could you really want? Or need, even? You don't have a job, but yet you have enough money to pay for your large collection of movies that you don't need. Let me, 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 let me,
Part of you knows you won't ever be able to get the things you dream about. Your life isn't going to change. It'll always be the same. No matter how much you want it to change. It'll be just as easy and boring. But it's always been. It's not your life that's the issue. No matter how much you complain about it. It's you that's the issue. You are what's to blame. You do so much at your fingertips, but you do nothing with it. When you started homeschool, you thought, well, at least I have one less thing holding you back from what I want to do. But, you're still not doing it. Sure, when you turn 16, you'll say, well, I have one less thing holding me back from the things I want to do. And then when the smallest thing doesn't go your way, you throw a hissy fit. And you just wish you could fall asleep forever. What a spoiled brat you are. What a rotten sucker you are. When life gets too overwhelming for you, you go on a walk in 30 degree weather. I think that'll solve your problems, huh? It's peaceful to just walk around and ponder about the mysteries of life, but it's not doing anything. You're still not doing anything with your life. You sit here and reflect on how little you've done in your 15 years of life. You want to do something, but you're afraid that you'll fail. However, think that, you know, maybe eventually you'll get around to it. Maybe sometime you'll do something big, something grand, but if your current situation is any precedent, you're probably never going to do it. Every time you try to take a step out of your comfort zone, you shut yourself down. Why even try if it's never going to accomplish anything, you think to yourself. If I don't try, I'll never fail. You know, I wish I just, I knew how to, to do it, you know? I wish I was just able to navigate life as easily as everyone else, you know? But I can't. Someone just needs to tell me how to make it all make sense, and then I'll, and then I'll do that. Because as it is right now, I don't know what the hell I'm doing. You know? What am I even, what am I even doing? Oh, it's gonna hear me. Even if I yell it! Make it make sense! Someone! watch movies so much, you think you're in one. You think you're the main character in one. In reality, you're nothing more than an NPC, a background character in the film. 
someone that the main character is paying no mind to, that the director never acknowledges. That's who you are. And that's all you'll ever be. And you know this. But pretend that you're more than that. I mean, at some point you'll have to get a job. You'll get a car. You'll probably go to college and rack up a ton of student debt. You'll be just like everyone else. Just like every other person on this planet. You'll still have dreams of things you want to do, or things you can do to get bigger or more successful or anything, but you'll never do them. Look at you. Why would you do them? Why would you do it if you have it so easy? You've never had any struggles in your whole life. You know, tomorrow is going to be when everything changes. Tomorrow is going to be like act two. This is just, this, up till this point, this was just, this was just the first act of my life. But going forward, it'll be... Uh, act two. Yeah. Yeah. That sounds about right. It's about time, you know? Who am I even talking to? Myself, I guess. Guess I could do some more editing before the day's out. Yeah, I'll um I'll have a walk. So then I'll do I'll do more editing. Or yeah, I'll do more editing and then I'll I'll eat something. And then I'll um then I'll watch a, a movie. Yeah. That sounds good. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And tomorrow, big things will happen. I can feel it. Big things. You know as well as anyone this isn't the case. Very few people ever see any kind of real, wide-scale recognition. You are likely one of the billions that never see their dreams come to fruition. You are nothing. You simply keep the machine moving. You die, and then you're forgotten about. That's all you'll ever do. That's all you'll ever be. And this... This saddens you. This is why you tell yourself things like... Tomorrow will be the day that everything changes. Tomorrow will be the second act before you go to sleep. It helps you to sleep. And then when you wake up in the morning, you forget all about it and you repeat the cycle over again. You try not to think about how you'll die someday, and all people will be sad for a bit, but then they'll forget about you, everything you ever did. The little that you did do. I mean, what's the point in thinking about it? it may be true, but it's not going to lead anywhere. None of these thoughts are going to lead anywhere. It's actions that lead places. And if thoughts and ideas don't matter, then why have these thoughts at all? Why have these thoughts about how nothing you'll do will ever matter, and how you'll die alone and unhappy, and how you'll have no friends, and you'll never accomplish your goals? Why think about those things if that's not going to mean anything? If nothing means anything, then that doesn't mean anything either. And if what really matters is actions, then why don't you take some action? Why don't you start doing something? You keep thinking about how you'll never be able to do anything, so why don't you try? Even if you fail, at least you can say you tried. You shouldn't waste your life away like you're so scared of doing. What's stopping you? 
you really think about it, nothing is. Maybe you could say I am. But, then again, what am I anyways? <laughs>